hello friends welcome back to my youtube channel today i am showing how to make a shop drawing for lighting in rivet so for example here is a one plan for the lighting layout a small plan i am showing you is this is the same step you can do for the long uh, plan also so for example i am fixing lighting first okay so you need to make a work set i created a video for how to create a work sets and everything so the work set i made it like a lighting plan lighting layout and go to lighting layout and there is a in the draw panel the system tab is there okay just click on that and you will be get a drop panel like this so electrical side you just go to the electrical equipment first okay then fixed one uh, db over here so it will be drop down from here you can get the uh, db panels so for example i am using this one or a db panel db1 or anything you want okay i just placing this one over here okay i'm just giving a tag for this one uh it's it's showing like a, like this okay so just go to here and in the type type mark just type uh, db um for example this is lighting okay for uh, you can type like uh, lighting okay click okay so it's showing uh, like this so if you can if you need to change the scale you can change the scale also okay then then the lighting db lighting or otherwise you can change the uh, this name like oh, it's a little bit long okay so you can just type uh, dbl okay and fix like this okay and then go to the lightings the same system tab system tab then you will be get a draw panel and you can get the lighting from here and you can choose drop down menu so you can get the uh, different type of light fixes uh, for example i am choosing one of the light uh, like uh, so you can down if you didn't get anything you can download the family from uh, um, from uh, respective websites okay beam object is the one of the free website for getting all the lighting uh, or lighting all the lighting other or uh, rivet related to families okay for example i just uh, drop down this light okay recessor light and i'm just uh, giving this one d1 the name i'm giving d1 and the type mark i just given d1 also okay and click ok and you just need to place where you need of i am placing for place on face okay so i just place one light over here and i just uh, drop it like flip it like that and just go to the 3d how it's look okay so maybe it's not in fixed in the ceiling so we need we can we can fix that one in the ceiling or i just this is now it's showing the floor okay so just uh, uh, do like this and just stretch the 3d view like this so this is our ceiling so this light should be in the ceiling okay so what we can do just click on the light and just go to work edit work by pick the plane and select the ceiling okay so uh, it was fixed in the ceiling um, just just we need to give some height uh, level one and flip it that like that okay so you can see the light fixes are fixed over here and the next one you can once you fix it, this one you can set the dimensions okay for, for the uh, lights and everything okay how much distance you need you can uh, use that one so this is um, i need to place this one uh, around 600 okay so just uh, move it a little bit okay and uh, and once you fix uh, the dimensions and everything here okay for, uh, you can copy this one uh, like uh, you can copy from here okay choose multiple and just uh, pick the point and i need to place one light around 1300 then next light is around the uh, same 1300 okay then three lights are fixed over here if you if you are not comfortable this one you can change the dimensions as per otherwise you if you if you need two lights okay so just to click delete one light okay then uh, uh, copy again from here and just to copy it as per your dialect calculations and uh, as per your design you can maintain the distance like this okay i am giving 2500 and even here also 2500 okay so one light is coming over here okay so you can 
uh, adjust as per where you where you need you can just uh, adjust it that one and the same thing if you need uh, some other lights over here okay so just copy these lights okay and i'm putting one light over here and i need to change this light and, and, and another another spotlights okay so i'm just uh, giving this one one spotlight okay then copy from here and just take the midpoint of uh, these two lights if you look the 3d how it's look you can just uh, uh, check this one and even the db is placed uh, here and just give the elevation 1800 or uh, 1200 okay so the, that was fixed over there and you can see the light lights are fixed over here okay in the ceiling okay then what you can do another thing so you here also we need some lights okay so just copy this one and one light will fix over here and one light will fix over here okay and just move to a little bit up okay then copy these lights okay then we can place somewhere over here uh, some distance you can give over here okay then then uh, one light over in the center so you can just create similar or copy this one you can we can place the lights over here and same thing you can copy it here and you can place one lights here and in doing the corridor also you can give the lights once you fix the light okay so if you want to change the this light uh, color uh, means uh, you can go to vv type vv and just uh, go to the filter and add from edit, edit from here and we can create some uh, otherwise you can just go to vv and uh, from the model category you just uh, select from here you can give this uh, color or solid something like that and you can give the color of the light okay just click okay 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 so it will it will show like this and then what we can do we need some switches okay so and then go here and elect devices you can get the lighting switches from here okay so here is a uh, switch switch is here okay so just select that one and just place it that okay so here you need one okay from uh, this one also you need one switch over here and here also you need one switch okay and uh, if you can give here also you can give one switch and after that you can go to the uh, you need to do the wiring okay so just uh, select the light okay so this all light in the one circuit i need shall so select this one and go to the power and it will it was automatically showing this one okay just click on the uh, like that okay so the wiring also easily you can do it and type bv and go to go to wire and you can change the color of the wire side wire types and everything so for example i'm giving this one red okay <clears throat> and you can get three okay so it will it will show like this okay so easily you can see how it's how it's work and and you can um, connect it to this uh, light to switch also just to select this one and select a switch from here and select it so it will connect like that okay then after that you can just take a arc wire or otherwise manually you can do the things like that also so it will connect to the switch the same process is process for here also and you can select light and you can select the switch from here and select it so it will show like uh, this switch is controlling these two lights okay and then you can uh, select this this two and give a power and give arc okay so power power you can select the db also and uh, then you can just type e wire and connect it to this this one okay. and even even this lights also having a some need the power okay so we didn't uh, we we are, we are assigning the power panel okay so select like this and you can uh, connect it to the like that also okay otherwise other, another option you can just go to here select that one and power and select a panel and you can select the panel and uh, this one so this this two light the feeding from this panel okay so just uh, you can uh, you can uh, so uh, show like this otherwise you can connect it to this uh, this panel also like that okay not just from here like that okay easily you can um, uh, draw the things from uh, from here like this okay so we this one is coming like that 
okay so this one we can connect it to like this so you can see the arrow it's pointed to this uh, db so otherwise you can you can just uh, uh, draw like this like like that also so we we can find that this this light is feeding from this db okay and uh, uh, same things for these lights also will connect it from here and connecting to this db so for presentation wise you can just keep it like that okay so otherwise it will like um, you can just uh, keep the uh, keep the arrow like that okay uh, and you can just drop it like this and you can just make it as a good presentation views like that so it means it's it's this light uh, feed from this uh, this tp same thing for here also just to select this one give a power and select the uh, wire and okay and then uh, it will go to this uh, panel just uh, click from here and uh, show like that okay so it, it will show like that okay so just uh, do the things like this so if, if you can if you if you want if you want uh, just click on like this okay then just if you want to add some inverter in insert vertex or something like that you can add the vertex also and you can just stretch the uh, things like that okay and here also we need one switch okay so then uh, you need to create similar and give a switch like this okay tab it okay then place the switch and you can connect the uh, connect the uh, uh, wire from this light to this one so it means that this switch is controlling for this this lights so like that we can make the um, uh, this uh, the circuit in the uh, like in a circuit diagram in the like uh, in rivet okay so then here also we can connect it to the switch okay so it means it this switch is controlling this this light and here also we can make the one line like that okay this is very easy and if you if, if you need to give a dimensions of this lights so okay go to here annotate and go to the align dimensions okay select the control tab okay select like that and you can you can give a dimensions like that okay for each lights and everything like this the same process for here also you can make and you can give the dimensions like this okay one side is enough for uh, uh, because these are same so no need to do again and again okay so here here you can choose like this and you can give the dimensions like that and same way for this one you can select this one and select this one and select this one and select this one and give the dimensions like that and here also you can give dimension from here okay then select this one select this one select this one and 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 drag it like that so the dimensions are set over here 